I'm gonna show you 10 signs that your Fox body possibly was in an accident and you didn't even know about it. If you own a Fox body and that doesn't pique your interest, then I don't know what you're watching. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So just like I had just said in the intro, today we're gonna talk about 10 things, 10 signs, 10 areas of your Mustangs that you should be concerned with if you think it's been in an accident. And we're gonna go over here. Now the great dethaw has begun in Ohio, as you can see, so bear with me as I try not to bust my ass on some ice. But as you guys know, I brought in a couple parts cars these past couple weeks, and we decided to try to save one of them i think i don't know yet but i felt this would be a great video and this would be a great vehicle to bring content to the channel to show you guys some of the areas that you should be looking for that you didn't even probably know that your car was in an accident but before we get started with the actual video for those of you guys just getting into the fox body channel there's actually a title the, the certificate of title for the vehicle that you sell right but any bet Here's an example of a title that has a branded salvage. Usually somewhere on that title, it will be branded as rebuilt or salvage. That usually means that at some point, the insurance company wrote the car off as a total loss. Now I'm just using this car as a generic example. Now this is important. Does it really change the value of the Fox body? Not necessarily. But as far as like resellability and investment, yeah, that hinders the price a little bit. Anytime you hear the rebuilt salvage tag is on the title because that at that point, the resell value on the, the truck, the car, the vehicle, all in general kind of takes a hit at that point, if you get what I'm saying. So to be honest with you, both my white and my black car have also been in fender benders and I still love them to death and they're straight as an arrow. I'm gonna get this car pulled out a little bit and we're gonna go over this car and I'm gonna show you my top 10 areas and I'm gonna give you some bonus areas of what you should be looking for on a Fox body Mustang. All right, so let's just get right down into it. My number one example of your car, Fox body, has been in an accident is if your bumper is crooked. As you can see, this is a dead giveaway of a accident that has happened on this vehicle. Whether it had been ditched ran into somebody in the back barely ran into a pole or something this still looks pretty factory so i don't think any of it was changed as the paint still looks faded so i'm pretty sure that at some point this car had been in a ditch that's what i'm gonna guess along with the bumper being bent you can see that the fog lights are out so usually that whole brace gets bent and if there's no brace that the bumper has been moved and that it's probably broken and it has probably been salvaged at some point. So that's a big deal. That's a, that's a dead giveaway right off the bat. And that goes for LX, coupe, hatchback, convertible. And we'll talk a little bit more convertible towards the end of the, uh, end of the video. But that's a dead giveaway. So that also means, let me add to that, that also means that the GT bumper, if it was been replaced, probably a dead giveaway that it had been broken at some point. That means it's an aftermarket bumper has been put on. You know, usually when you don't have Ford lights, you know, that's a giveaway in, in, in hood. So. so let's keep moving on. That's a big one. That's a, that's a telltale sign that the car's been in an accident. So let's keep moving on. Still staying here with the bumper. Another very good example is your fender is flared. Now notice this fender is flared. There's also a little ding in here, but that's not from that, I don't think. See how it flares out? It also should have messed the alignment up in the back in that it did. Notice this. This is another part of this fender realignment. So one of the telltale signs that your car has been in an accident is your fenders don't fit or they don't look right. The gap is wrong. The, it's got a, a swollen flared or concaved spat area. As I've seen them actually moved into, which this side looks very straight. See that? See how it's straight with the body line? That's what it's supposed to look like. So obviously this car had an issue on the passenger side of it as it has a flared fender. Another telltale sign that the car's been in an accident. Usually when one side pulls or moves, then it ruins the gap on everything. As you can see here, see this? Now, this is not to be mistaken with the fact that people use jacks underneath 
the car and they bend up this area right here where the fender mounts if you bend that spot weld seam area you will throw the alignment of your fender off so don't let that fool you as being so, like maybe your car was in an accident because it probably wasn't just some put his jack stand there all right so now we're about to enter the car and go into the actual engine bay i'm gonna pop the uh, hood and we're gonna go into the engine bay lots of signs in here right before i go into the engine bay if your hood's out of alignment which this one is that's another telltale sign see how it's up at the support it overlaps right here a little bit it's a body line see that Guys, I'm not making this video to scare you and, you know, to, to discredit any of your Fox bodies out there. But, you know, the, the past, I don't know, 20 or 30 years, you never know what had happened to that Fox body prior to you getting it. Even if you're the second or third own, owner of the car. When these cars were really worth their weight in gold and value with these insurance companies, <laughs> they would still spend good money to keep them on the road. And most of the time, people would just get them fixed or fix them themselves, and you would have never knew that it actually was in an accident. So therefore, the uh, title would have never got branded, so you never know. So moving into the radiator area would be all bent up. This was not, but considering the fact that it's got kinks here, see this? But it doesn't look like that on this side. It's all nice and straight. That's a telltale sign that this had been bent at some point, been backwards. See that? And somebody straightened it out your fender aprons see how there's a the wave in the fender apron see that that's been folded at some point it's overlapping right there with the crack these cracks are a dead giveaway that your fender apron at some point see had been bent that's supposed to be straight you see that very straight actually supposed to be in further so those are really big signs the fender apron the radiator core support i mean obviously look look you can see that this was broken. I mean, there's just dead giveaways everywhere, but not everybody's car is already in this condition. I'm making this video because your car may have been fixed and you just don't know about it. Now, stay with me here because this is probably one of the biggest and telltale signs of them all. There's a kink that always happens right here on this spot weld area where the, the, the uh, frame rail meets the, the uh, strut tower. It's usually a big kink right here. This side's not so bad because this wasn't the side that got bent but i've seen these literally completely moved over where the frame rail was completely crooked you know my cars aren't perfect boys my dad's car was hit and we had to fix it so we had the uh, the, the the frame straightened and to be honest with you uh, a, a frame straightener could probably fix that for a couple hundred bucks before you even start painting the car so keep that in mind let the professionals do their job you see what i'm saying but that's a big one the kink in the uh the fe the the actual frame rail that's a big one but this is all spot welds so if you find this stuff, don't freak out. Your car's not junk. Doesn't mean that it's broken and it's not worth any money. They sell replacement frame rails. You could get those from a car that's maybe been hit real bad in the back. Don't worry about it, it can be fixed. As long as that stuff isn't strut tower back, probably be okay. If you just happen to be looking under the car and you see that your front bumper shocks are bent, that's a pretty telltale sign that your car's been in a pretty good accident. That one's kind of lowered down a little bit. And like I was saying about the brace earlier, that brace is bent down there. You can see it. You can see the whole thing breaks, which is probably why the lights aren't even in here. So there's a lot of stuff. Usually accidents happen in the front. So there's a lot of stuff. I mean, this whatever happened here didn't deploy the airbag, apparently. And, and none of the sensors caught it. So it might have been something where they just kind of went into a ditch or kind of ran over something. Who knows? But I'm actually going to clean this car. For being Ohio, it's actually in a, a clean car if you checked out that other video. So it's definitely worth actually saving. So I've already went over to the frame shop and they said 300 bucks. They'll fix my front end. Get it all nice and straight and squared up. And then we'll go ahead and maybe do that engine swap with that convertible we talked about the other day on the video. And then we'll get this car fixed and maybe running. You know, like I had said, my cars aren't perfect. So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you the next one on my black car because this is how I found out that my car was ditched at some point. So knowing Fox bodies and knowing 87 to 90 and 91, 92, 93 car parts, I know that in certain scenarios, some of these parts don't always interchange. So a dead giveaway on a car that might've been fixed is the fact that the shop or whoever fixed the car 
might have put the wrong car parts on. So whoever the guy was that fixed my black GT when it was ditched, because I know it was ditched, because I talked to the ex-owner and he told me what he did. This is the factory spat. This is 87 to 90, and it's got that factory spat spacing. That's normal for this car, right? But if you actually come over here to the other side, you can tell that this spat, and it looks better in the light. As you can see, this spat is, an, is a 91 to 93 style, it's smaller. So when I started messing with my car and I started modifying it when it was uh, at its stock stage, that's how I knew the car had been ditched. So if your car's got paint on it, that's different than the other paint. This is back on my black car again. I don't know if you guys can see this in, in this light here. If you look at this paint here, there's a, there's a spot here. See that? Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. My quarter panel is faded. My deck lid is faded. So they didn't paint this side of the car. Something happened on this side. I think they painted the whole half when they put it in the ditch. When you see stuff like that, <clears throat> see, you can see it right there. See it? See it? See the line? When you see stuff like that, that means that there was some tomfoolery going around. Or that means that this car had been painted for some reason on this side. And usually paint means that uh, there was an accident at some point because they usually try to paint the whole car. And when they cut a corner, they usually just do it like that. And, the, and over the years, they use cheap paint and then it fades and looks like shit. So that's enough of my black car. Let's go over and see the white car. This is a good one. You're going to want to see this one. All right. So in order for me to show you the next part of the video, I got to open up my, my trailer and I got to show you the quarter panel on my white car. Of course, I am a professional ice skater in Ohio now with sneakers and ice. True story. All right, so those of you guys that are new to the channel, new subscribers, this is my white car you guys seen in some of the videos. It's my 408 turbo car, uh, stick shift. It's a pretty nasty little car. Oh, I enjoy this car a lot, but this car has been painted at some point. I wanted to show you the quarter panel, how I knew that this car had been hit in the side. Coming inside here, you can see it. See the welds? Sketch, bro. You can tell this panel had been replaced at some point. Those aren't factory welds. Those are just tacks. So that's how you know your quarter panel had been replaced at some point, whether it be with rust or accident or whatever. Most likely if the car is really clean and doesn't have any rust issues, it's probably was hit on that side somewhere. So that's a dead giveaway. And you would also find that back here behind the light because they like to hide it in the body and behind here underneath the lights. So there's some stuff to be said behind the tail lights as well. Remember, I think Ford was like every inch and a half or two inches or something like that, and it was a spot weld. So if you see little tack welds like that, then somebody's been in there. Staying right here with my black, my white car. Um, I, I can't really give you an example of this because I don't really have one. But if your car has dimples that match on your roof, they would be right here. This is the mid body line where all the 180 spot welds are in between the car. This is like a pop can. So there would be a dimple here and there would be a dimple here. They would be matching. See what I'm saying? And it would just be this little dent that just looks stupid. You would be able to see it. Almost like that one there, but it's not. That's probably one of the worst ones to find because that means at some point your car had been in a straight up accident. Because that's when that means that the car got bent a little bit and, and it got out of shape. Now I'm not trying to sit here and scare you guys as with fox bodies. Does that make the fox body not worth anything? Absolutely not. This video was not intentional to scare you, but these are years of experiences of putting them together and parting them out of how I figured out where all the little spots are to check if you're looking for a clean fox body or if you're curious if your fox body's ever been in an accident. And last but not least, uh, we'll go to the back. Obviously, if you've had a, uh, if the bumper has been changed in the rear, which people, play, people usually change the bumper anyways, because these GT bumpers just sucked and the LX ones weren't very good either, so. Um, usually if there's a bumper change or a taillight change, that, that, that's not a giveaway that the car's been in an accident, but you know, why were they changed, right? But the last one I'm going to end off with, and I'm pretty sure this car was in an accident at some point, is the fact that your hatch does not line up. See that? Your hatch alignment is off. Now that could easily just be pins, so don't freak out. But if there was funny welds behind here, and and obviously there's something happened here because the bumper's all whooped out then that's probably means that at some point maybe the, the ass under the car got hit 
I don't know. Could have been hit on that side, could have been hit on this side. Doesn't look like the hatch was ever removed, so it's just something, guys, this is just something to, you know, make you guys informed as Fox body enthusiasts and just car enthusiasts in general. Like I said earlier in the video, a lot of this stuff I'm telling you right now applies to pretty much all the cars. Now, lastly, about convertibles. Convertibles are a little bit different. Uh, convertibles, when they tweak, they tweak, and you'll tell because the top won't even latch correctly. And convertibles have a different framing underneath. It's very rugged and heavy duty framing as far as the the rockers and the torque box area and they even have the x uh the x brace that's underneath the engine so all right guys that's pretty much all i got for you today don't take everything to heart if your car's got some of these issues that doesn't necessarily mean it's been in an accident but i got a pretty keen eye for this stuff that car has obviously been in some sort of ditching whatever accident and most of the cars that usually get in an accident it's pretty obvious when they do but hey at least i showed you some areas i didn't know my white car was in an accident until years later so in my black car too so you never know and i'm sorry if i um bearer of bad news because i wasn't meaning, meaning it to be that way so if you guys enjoy the channel make sure you check out the video that's coming up soon you're looking at one of six ground effects kits ever made so make sure you stick around and check that out if, if you guys want to give something back to the channel we have a merch shelf below for some t-shirts we also have a join button for a club membership which has its own perk like colored names in the comments and on live streams and special emojis so outside of that guys i just appreciate the watch time i appreciate you listening to me ramble this long i'm, I'm a huge fox body enthusiast i can't help myself so outside of that i'll see you guys soon in the next video